We've got a review for you today from your Common Sense Education editorial team. I'm Tanner. That's Chrissy. We come to you every Tuesday on this YouTube channel with a review of some kind of tool for learning. Chrissy, what do you have for us today? Well, today I have something called Bite Learn, and it is all about math and it's 100% free for now. So I will just put the caveat in that it's fairly new and fairly limited in content, which I'll talk about, and it's free. We'll see if it remains that way. Not sure. Um, but I'll start off by saying right now, it's limited to middle school. You can see that it's three stars right now. And mostly that's because the content that's available currently is pretty limited. <laughs> it's pretty limited, but I think it's a really good one to keep your eye on um, for math practice for students. Um, because not only is it free, but I think it has fairly remarkable feedback built in for students which is often something that seems just a little bit lacking um, on some of these math practice platforms. So let me go over to the site and give you a little short tour of what your dashboard will kind of look like from the te teacher's perspective. And then I'll show you what it looks like from a student perspective. So you can see here, um, I'm plugged into some sixth grade math, um, right now, it's just middle school and the content, again, very limited. Here are some of the units that you can explore and you can filter by topic or common core standards. You can create your assignments. Um, so for instance, if I want to go into multiplying decimals, you can do um, a problem set. And if you don't like the problems, you can go ahead and choose a new one, cycle a different one in. If step-by-step -step is step-by-step -step help is available, you can just have students, you know, have it there in case they need it or um, always have it show up for the student, whether or not they ask for it. And then there's a differentiated problem, which I think is um, really cool as one of the problem sets. So the difficulty adjusts is adaptive based on their past performance, which is really helpful. And you can add these problems to the problem set that you're going to assign. You can see here that you can adjust difficulty levels. You have the spicy level. Yeah, <laughs> um, is, is that's the hard level, I'm assuming? <laughs> yes, that's the hardest. Okay. It's spicy. That's right. Um, it's sort of the opposite of how my brain works where I, I, I would think spicy would be two uh -huh. and it would go up. Okay. But it's like reversed. Yeah. Is that how your yeah, brain right. would organize that? I don't know. Yeah. I, I see what you're saying. That spicy would be at the top. because it's the highest, Yeah. It's marked the zero one. on the interface. So it, yes. it's kind right. of the opposite of what I would intuit, but so, what is so currently now in that problem set, there were zero spicy problems but you could add one. If you oh, want that's what that number is. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. Yes. Um, and so I don't, you know, I don't have any, I have one assigned um, assignment here, gray book, roster, et cetera. Um, and let me go ahead and jump over to the student experience because this is what, um, caught my attention. Um, so student has a problem here. And here you can, you know, this is where the help is available for students. So it's not necessarily required. Um, you can also decide if you want the calculator tool to show up. Um, but this little AI bot um, is responsive in a way that actually gives kids some step-by-step -step help, not just the answer, but kind of walks them through the process. Um, mm -hmm. And 
that is fairly unique um, in the way that it responds and is sort of right there step by step. So a student tries it out and checks. Um, it's more of a process rather than just you get it right, you get it wrong, and then the teacher gets, you know, how the student did on that assignment. There are some more steps built in, which I think is really cool, especially for a free product, um, and especially that there are adaptive, differentiated elements as well. So it gets more complex than some of the, the free programs that we often see. Um, so if you keep asking for help, the little friendly cat emoji will <laughs> keep, keep, uh, keep walking you through and explaining um, as it goes. How far does it go? Because I'm imagining a student clicking, 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 clicking all the way to the bottom. Yep. Um, so here, you know, it stops here. So okay. If you don't enter anything, let's just say I enter some nonsense. Check. Uh, how'd you get that answer? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey there. <laughs> I will try again. Let's keep going. Again, I'll just answer nonsense. Okay, keep going. Okay, keep so it it's it's more than you know three clicks to get through. So if a kid really wants to persist in just um, you know just yeah. answering sort of nonsensically and just clicking through. They can, um, but it's not simple and, and quick. The so it, they don't jump right to the to the correct answer. Yeah, and it it strikes me as a way of maybe combating homework help apps that do sort of just give you the answer. So yes. it's a way of maybe nudging a student who might rely on something like that to to be kind of forced to go through the process a bit or at least see it develop over time. So I could see it being handy. Yeah. And I think that the, again, the um, level of feedback and, and walkthrough is, is really helpful for a student um, who might be struggling. So again, it's pretty limited content at this point. Um, but I do think that it's one to keep your eye on and to um, check out since it's for free. You can just see if it's uh, something that might be helpful, um, if not for your whole class, then for maybe a subset of students who might benefit. Yeah, it strikes me as a good pairing to a recent tool we looked at called 99Math, which I could put yeah. the video at the end of this video. I want to check that one out, which focuses more on speed and competition but could be a nice pairing where you learn through bite learn or get reinforcement through bite learn and then you kind of put your skills to the test in the class through 99 math or something yeah um, so you can see that review over on commonsense.org slash education and of course visit us every tuesday here on our youtube channel um, where you can find more videos like this so please subscribe